Australians in Bali have been given just three days to update their visa or face being thrown out. And with no direct flights from the holiday island, $100 a day fines are also on the cards. Bali's tourist hotspots are the quietest they've ever been and it's likely to get worse. Everyone just stressing about all the information that comes out. As COVID struck, foreigners were offered emergency visas, supposed to last the pandemic. But a few weeks ago, the rules changed. The remaining few thousand Aussies told to apply for a social visa or get out. The deadline this Thursday, and some left in the lurch by bureaucracy. If there's one spelling mistake, one error or whatever, your, your application is then rejected. And dodgy dealings. I have seen on Facebook a lot of people being ripped off by visa agents. Expats forced to leave will have to via Jakarta. The flight's few, prices at least triple the norm and the Premier not keen on arrivals from the virus-plagued country. There's a cap on the number of people who, that can come into Perth Airport internationally. Those who overstay to be slugged $100 a day. Peter Sicilan's visa application is in, but he's still awaiting approval. An emotional mission to stay on the island he's called home for four years. I would, I would find myself just bursting into tears with a drop of a hat. Plenty more in the same boat. Why wouldn't you want to stay in Bali? Renee Henry, Nine News.